Hello everyone, how are you? Before I start the December reading, mid mid month reading, I just wanted to apologize for delay in the Jupiter transit reading. Of course, the transit is for one year, so I'll finish the uh, reading for all the other signs. I just uploaded for three signs, and I have to upload for other nine signs. Actually, uh, a week back, I had to travel around 400 kilometers on a day when it was minus 20, and half of the time I was walking here and there uh, within the city limits in both the places where I live and the other place where I went. So I maybe I caught some cold, flu, I don't know, whatever it was. Uh, so I was feeling very low for a few days in between. So I could not record anything. And then the, even I skipped message of the day one for one day. So but now I'm better. So let me finish the mid-month reading and then I'll do that. And also I'll post one uh, overview of year, annual reading as a sample reading, how I want to take the annual reading this year so that you have an idea. And if you want to have a personal annual reading, you can uh, order that. If you have already had an annual reading in the past and if you want to have annual reading, you can already order that on my website. The link is given below. But if you are new and if you want to see how I'm going to do the annual reading this year, uh, it would be a little different. A uh, free-flowing one, not in a structured way like I always did. So you can wait. I'll do as a generic reading for the world events kind of thing. And uh, I won't have time to do all the sign-wise uh, annual reading this year. But if you want to have a personal reading, please do order on my website. So let's start with the December mid-month reading. Hello Sagittarius, this is your mid-December reading. And let's see what do we have. The very first card is control. A clear-cut message here. Don't fall for your ego traps and don't try to control other people. Don't try to plan a lot of things where others are involved. You can plan individually for yourself, but don't plan something where others are also involved because you would get royally disappointed. Because others have free will to decide their future. You cannot plan and decide others' future with you. You cannot tie them with yourself. That's a fair warning that Sagittarius have. And for what the next card is telling that you already knew that what I just said. And you that is your fear actually that you have that fear that I cannot plan and control other people in my life, but I want to be with those people, uh, either professionally or personally or whatever it is, because you like them, you feel comfortable with them, and you want to have them, and you know you cannot control them, and you have that fear that these people are going to leave you and run away. Mm, let's see what the cards have to tell. Uh, they are saying that, you are fortunate. <laughs> These people are not going to run away. The card here says strengthening the bonds. So don't worry. You don't have to control them, but you don't even have to worry about that they are going to run away. But sooner, very soon, you will see that the relationship between the group of people or individual or an organization, whatever it is, with whom you want to develop that relationship, it's going to become stronger and stronger. And somewhere it is because of your prayers. With the throat chakra here, what I'm going to tell you is that you don't have to control this person. You don't have to even control this person in your thoughts. But with your prayers, and now uh, don't make that prayer in your subconscious or in your you need to speak it out you would you should be able to hear it with your ears you need to speak that uh, prayer 
that I really want this person in my life. I really want this project in my life. I really want to work with this group of people, whatever your prayer is. And please help me to have this wish fulfilled. You need to say that. And then you have to have a very strong belief on yourself and the subconscious mind and the supernatural power, universal power, that you will succeed in fulfilling your wishes because dreams come true. It's the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment card. So it's a very clear indication. Okay, what I'm seeing here is that in past you might have tried to control this kind of situation something in a very similar situation you controlled something in the past and that is haunting you because it didn't work because you were very controlling and it didn't work it bounced back and that whole experience is somewhere in your subconscious mind haunting you what they're saying that that uh, memory of the past is actually creating bigger traps for you release that memory you don't need that experience in your memory anymore because you have learned your lesson. You know you cannot control other people and now you are falling for other kind of fear because of your past memories. What they are saying is that see the larger picture and allow the bright light to fall on you because you, if you shine with your prayers, with the supernatural uh, you would shine like the sun and whatever you have been asking for, that thing will get attracted towards you on its own. You are a magnet and you will hold on to things. Uh, the challenging times from the past are over. You will succeed in the future only if you just don't keep on falling for the trap of your past and then reach out to the set of people whom you want to connect with and slowly lead the conversation without any judgment without any expectations without any kind of controlling thing just keep the conversation going in a detached way and you would find the results the way you want to have them and trust yourself that things will be fine. Your wishes will come true. Your dreams will come true. So that's your reading Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm offering annual readings right now. If you want to have that, please visit my website astrolog.com. Otherwise, for any kind of personal reading, tarot or astrology, visit my website astrolog.com. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Until next time, bye-bye and namaste.